I was up, y'all. was popping this deep. I'll react to this vid by JBM Fargo. It's titled The Sad Story Behind Flight React's Biggest Meltdown. Okay, some, somebody told me to check this out. Let, let's see what, what was going on here. He, he going through with Big Mama? What, what's happening? Let's watch. Flight React's one of the most consistent, influential, and inspirational creators in the black content creator community. Try saying that three times. To get to this point, it took some hard work, growing pains if you want to call it that. And Flight went through a situation that most likely changed the entire course of his YouTube career. Let me take you back to 2016, 2017 to tell you a oh, story that you were around, remember so vividly. Let's get into it. But first, I'm going to get into today's sponsor. Man. Oh, y'all are poor. Get, them, get your money, brother. I have a first channel under the... Oh, look at Let's baby Flight. Okay, so Flight started his YouTube channel oh. around 2013 under the name Not Your Average Flight, uploading gaming and IRL content. Jeez, he did baby. have a first channel under the name Mr. Big Boy 305, where Flight would make NBA mixes, but I can't find any record of this channel online, just a troll channel. In September of 2015, Flight would create the Flight Reacts channel. Reaction videos were a crazy new trend on YouTube at this time, and Flight took advantage, gaining 1 million subscribers in about a year. This is where things get that very time. interesting. About one year into doing reactions he starts collabing with a girl named Ari Dia oh, in his reaction videos with Ari the viewers insinuated oh her wait wait I kind of remember this <laughs> I kind of remember this it was some drama with uh with Soluminati or something like that was it a love triangle <laughs> it was something going on because yeah he was doing reactions with her I guess he was trying to tap into the, the couples react <laughs> <laughs> the couples are at market, but it was a flop because she started fucking with Solomon or something like that. I don't remember. Let's, let's see. something going on at first, as most people ago. do. This is due to the fact that they were collabing so frequently. As time went on, you can see that Ari would disrespect Flight on his own platform. Yeah, was... yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember she didn't really seem to fuck with him at all. Like, you could tell their chemistry was off. Like, he seemed to really be into her, but she seemed to be like, mm. Almost like she didn't even want to be touched by him. Like, it was real shady energy, you know. It's taken. Not everyone had nice things to say about Flight around this time either, so I doubt they noticed. Because of the many losses in IRL basketball games and uploading poorly reviewed songs, he'll be given the nickname The Walking M. And the main person who spearheaded this movement was none other than Yeah. Every song and video was heavily scrutinized by him, and he didn't miss one upload. He this, this was his this biggest hit. This coupled hater. with the fact that Flight spoke to the internet about his thoughts on so created a rivalry of sorts. We're not playing, mother. In May of 2017, Naughty uploaded an infamous reaction to Flight reacting to a diss track made on him by another YouTuber named Zeus. In this video, Ari this is before. present. Some constantly refers to her as Flight's girlfriend. Look at her face. She's like smiling. I don't know how to feel about this verse right here. She ain't shit. Yeah. Like, look at your girl. She supposed to have your back. Right? This before he got his teeth. Look at your girl, bro. Before he got the bananas. Like, this is your girlfriend. Like, this is your girl. And we gotta put this in a slow motion. Look at look at my reacts girl, buddy. <laughs> look, look at her facial expressions. Why he talking shit about you? She supposed to be on your side, right? This is your baby, right? Remember, she every time she there, her brother there. This is your baby. You got all the respect. Oh, yeah, why was her brother in the back? That shit was weird. Goes viral, some insane foreshadowing. What you doing here, nigga? Ari personally slides in his DMs and says that. I'm single, sir. Oh yes, yes. This one I thought it was a love triangle. Maybe it wasn't, but yes. She was talking to so on the side, talking about, oh, that ain't my man type shit. Oh, she wasn't shit. Don't be missing that he doesn't go around saying this thing. She and Flight are not together. It's just, just strictly. Like people who watch and assume things and take whatever say around with the black character in the past few times. That's why I don't care if they think it or not. I get tired of repeating it. It's not that deep, at least I don't think. You gotta do something like, where you located, bitch. Friends. She you are being friendly and in the DMs of the op. When Flight is the one who even puts you on his channel and you up here. Then asks where he's located, then turns around and deletes all of her messages. We can link up. In the conversation. Solomonati will leak these DMs in a video titled Flight's Girlfriend Wants to D. So she said you was looking for me. 
I wasn't looking for you. I just wanted your Instagram. But obviously, you want my attention now. So you got my attention, baby. You know? <laughs> so she said, was you looking for me? And she called me a clout chaser. So I'm like, clout chaser? And then I told her, all the videos that I make is strictly entertainment. Flight I already know this, but flight take it personal. And then she said, okay, honestly, she said, okay, I know such and such and such. She just was agreeing with me. She like, okay, I know. Cool. So I'm like, how will Flight reacts feel about you being in my DMs? Ain't you his girl? I instantly said, why are you in my DMs if you Flight girl? She made it clear as day. Hold up, hold up. She made it clear as day. So she made it clear as day. So she said she tired of everybody assuming that they together. So what I do, I went on here and I went on Twitter. I went on here. I was just looking at right here my Twitter. And I showed, I showed everybody. I'm like, bro, her and Flight is not together. I just wanted to let y'all know. I no, you messy. Know, you don't know trying to show off and shit. I just was letting y'all know what she said because she was tired of everybody assuming that they were together. <laughs> you know so she made it clear as that to me. So the monotic men flight is not together. What's up? That's how I looked at it. And then she asked, where was I located? She asked, where are you located? Look, she want to know where I live at. So I'm like... <laughs> She won't win. Where am I located? When she sent it to me, I'm like, okay. She, so she wanted to know where I'm located. Okay. So we'll drop a follow-up video to this. Now, this is the DMs. All y'all see is my DMs. She deleted all of her messages, my nigga. All of them. So the only screenshot that I had was the screenshot that I took on Twitter because she told me that she was tired of everybody assuming that her and Flight was together. So I did her a favor, and I went on Twitter, and I let everybody know that they not together. And not her trying to cover her tracks. Child, the, the screenshot was already taken. Simple. They not together. Y'all can stop saying it. She free. She probably not her. Too. All you got to do, you making this shit so hard on flight. All you had to do was say, okay, me and flight not together, and I was trying to fuck with Solo Minati. It's that simple. You make this full video trying to make it seem like that she wasn't fucking with me. What video? happened to all the messages? Where did the rest of the conversation go, Ari? And I'm not trying to expose you or nothing, yeah, but you made the video trying That's to make it seem like you wasn't trying to fuck with me. You trying to make it seem like me and you was just talking about flight. Where did, where is all the messages? Because I don't have them because you deleted them. If you wasn't trying to fuck with me, why are you deleting messages? What is you trying to hide? You made your little video trying to show everybody what you want them to see. Where all the messages at, baby? These videos for sure caused the rift in whatever relationship that Flight and Ari had. And she would slowly stop appearing in his videos. In July of 2017, Flight dropped the video titled, She's Gone. Detailing why things didn't work out. Ari uh, will no longer, you know what I'm saying, me and her will no longer be doing videos and we went our separate ways. And I want to get and break down to you guys basically how me and Ari was. Now, me and Ari never went out. Like, we, this is probably probably the most strangest friendship, friend zone, like I have ever been in. And the reason why I allowed it to go on for so long and was kind of so blind for the fact of that just, she was just not gonna let me get out of the friend zone is just because like she came in at a time, basically when I was going through a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like from some real deep stuff, you know what I'm saying? Multiple occasions and she was just there. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of like... That's fine and dandy. Why did you need to put her on your channel, though, and do reaction videos with her? You didn't have to do all that. You could have just been friend zone and taken your L in, in private. Why did you need to bring her on camera and then you have to take your L publicly? Like a lucky pin. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of why a lot of it go on for so long because, you know, I thought those were, like, wifey quality, so I kind of just, oh like, God. chased it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But... In the long run, man, basically, you know what I'm saying, long story short, got back from the reality TV show, this is about a month ago, a day after it, uh, it happened. I know he ain't talking about that fucking reality TV show, <laughs> that YouTube reality uh, TV show with DMB Nation. I know he ain't talking about that bootleg shit. That was nobody's reality TV flight. You were not on nobody's MTV, VH1, nothing. Stop it. Maybe he's talking about something else I don't know about, but if he's talking about that, bye. I was just like, man, why put any effort anymore? You know what I'm saying? Because when I was at the reality TV place, it was like you got a chance to see like, all the couples and stuff, and it's just like, it's 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 like portraying an image, like it, it's making it so awkward. It so, was like, hilarious. Everybody's back then. confused, and I just felt like for just the best, and not to make anything toxic anymore, and not anything to be offended to Ari at all. I don't want you guys to attack her. Like I'll 
wish her nothing but the best. You know what I'm saying? That she does not deserve to be attacked. I don't want you guys to do that, okay? I'm just letting you guys know, you know what I'm saying, what the beat is. But basically, you know what I'm saying, me and Ari would just no longer be just no contact. Just basically any type of that anymore. So, you know what I'm saying? The kids move on. So, if you guys see different women, I don't want you guys to be saying stuff like, oh, Ari is on R.I.P. So it's like, don't say stuff like that, man. She doesn't deserve that. She, she, we, me and her went our separate ways. That's just it. So basically, man, when that reality TV, you know, after that happened, uh, I just basically felt like, in my opinion, it was a smart way to just, like, stop talking to her. So, like, she, you know what I'm saying, she hit me up, and it's just like, I just dead at everything, man. So I just felt like in order for me to just not continue on something toxic and something that just been having such a huge weight on my shoulder for such a minute, man, I just felt like it was just best in my opinion, man. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I know... Yeah, I just know me, you feel me? Like, I'm not trying to be cocky, like, you know, you feel me? Like, I'm young, I'm getting it, you feel me? Like, um, um, I, I'm grinding for more and more success, okay. I dress nice, okay. you feel me? Like, why am I not putting any type of effort, bro? Like, I, I just am capable of being any type of girl. I want nine times out of ten in the world, so. You can tell in the last few sentences that <laughs> I was obviously hurt by everything that happened. A decision was made for both of us to separate, but I don't think it was for the wrong. I think it was for the better of us. We were great friends, and we- Oh, I didn't know she had these Bugs Bunny teeth. No shade, but- I, I didn't know that. Was there for one another. And we both came into each other's lives where it was chaos happening on both ends. It was definitely openness there and vulnerability. The moods were definitely up and down and it did turn into a toxic situation. We had to step out and see how we were portraying ourselves and a change had to be made. And a change doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. No matter the reason of two people separating, that's always going to be hard, especially when you care for that person. I've you never know, seen any of these videos, by the way. the best way. of him, and that's good. Uh, I've seen some of them. <laughs> I, I kind of remember that one, but th these two, no. Go be happy. That's great. That's a great thing. And who am I to stand in the way of that? Most may know, or mainly all, I'm that really I started that. from his channel. That's where I came from. I, I came started. From that's channel. all. Shortly after, Flight went into the studio to record one of the worst songs ever titled Feelings. That mm -hmm. kind of grew on me based on the context behind it. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to August 29th, 2017. Flight hops on a live stream to completely go off on R, using every cuss word imaginable, oh, calling her a cloud chaser, and thanks Solo and Naughty for Oh, I remember the speech. feel his pain during the this infamous meltdown. I want you to be the mother of my child. I would not say this to any other girl. The only girl I would say this to is I felt like I thought she was gonna be right and that was a cloud chasing that stop that was with the previous time. I thought she was right for me, which turns out she wasn't right for me. She was a cloud chasing that stop that was all in it for itself. You, 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 you. I should let your ass away. You want my mouth and lock all you little stupid ass stop chasing ass. Shout out to my nigga fucking King Soul. Oh my god. For noticing that shit up front. My nigga King Soul made a whole fucking video talking about this to the clock chasing. Damn, it was my nigga motherfucking pretty boy motherfucking pretty boy motherfucking Fredo. My nigga was a second to come for me. Like, is she using you, my nigga? Hey. And still, I was so nonchalant. I was still nonchalant at the fact. I was so mother blind, bro. That's the scary part about love, my nigga. I was so blind. Was in bro. love. So foremost, man. I want to let you guys know, up front, I will never do anything to, you know what I'm saying, jeopardize my freedom or my career. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to say this is exactly also why I do not fuck with drinking. You know, I happen to be that night and I let all that, you know what I'm saying, that shit come out. I've been holding What the fuck stuff, was you drinking? You know I ain't never seen look at that. It's giving. You know what I'm saying? And it's just sometimes I just actually have to find I'm a way so to release the other, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, I'm just not ex I have to exercise like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just here what to tell you, man, like, it's just everything like is dead, bro. Everything is dead, man. And it's just a minor setback for a major comeback. I know how I made myself look foolish at the end of the day. You know what I'm yes. saying? I'm the one who took the hell at yes. the end of the day with anything. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Whether it was like, you know what I'm saying? Companies, whatever. Gaming companies, whatever you want to say, etc. At the end of the day, man, lessons are learned. You know what I'm saying? Things are not meant to happen the way you want them to. You're going to eventually have to learn that even if you want something the way you want it to happen. You feel me? 
it just it's just not meant it just doesn't work out that way you feel me following the if situation you might find yourself fact. jumping from relationship to relationship with each of them coming with his fair share of wild moments both scripted and unscripted on camera we saw the same flight but you could only hope to guess how you felt behind closed doors this moment marked the crucial point in the evolution of flight's internet persona something i would consider to be a fork in the road he could decide to let his inner feelings consume him and lose what he had worked so hard to gain or keep moving forward but we all know what he chose since this drunken rant the flight brand has grown exponentially pumping out reactions every day with irl and gaming content to compliment Period, as a result he gained a cult-like following who used his catchphrases so much that it caught the attention of none other than Steph Curry. Yeah, look at Curry, man. Just trying to do great things in the world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to say it. As for Ari, Flight's audience basically ran her off the internet, labeling her a clout chaser. She started YouTube because of Flight, and I'm sure she didn't want to stay around all this toxicity. It was the right decision on her part, but I could never understand why Flight tried to get out the friend zone even after seeing So's video. But let me know what you think about this. Listen, my boy Flight has come a long way, so good for him. I feel like he's matured so much. <laughs> <laughs> since you know back then of course you know he's gotten older so usually that comes with maturity usually um so good for him but damn i remember all that spit and being like <laughs> this nigga ain't right in the head like he on some drugs or something it wasn't giving henny it was giving something else but i don't know who I, who knows who knows what's going on with him but very very entertaining time on youtube y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you've been watching i'll see y'all the next time Bye.